What's going on guys, it's Shannon here again and I'm going to just quickly do a diagnostic on a Citroen Nemo that has a parasitic battery drain so sb88.co.uk if you need to get your car diagnosed or repaired in the London area um, I'll just switch the engine off quick So, with a parasitic battery drain, it means that um, something's staying on when you switch off your car and lock it and leave it. Something stays on and drains the battery. And um, obviously, it would be quite annoying because that means the next day you return or the next time you return to your vehicle, depending on how bad the drain is, the battery will be flat, right? So I'm going to try do a test with my multimeter, which is a current drill test. So to do that, I've got to set the multimeter up. Now this is a really basic multimeter, so you can get ones that are much easier to use than this one. But the red wire goes across to the 10 amp, and the black stays in the same position. Turn your switch over to the turn up position. And then I like to remove the negative terminal of the battery and do it on this side. So one, I'm gonna go on there. And the other, go on there. So it makes a, it puts the the meter, which is now would be called an ammeter, in series in the circuit okay once you set it up and you feel, if you leave your cables like this and you set it up and you want to change it back to volts and you've done it you'll be putting the, the um, circuit into a parallel circuit and you would blow the fuse inside of the, the meter so you don't want to do that I, I do it all the time I can't lie I've got a spare meter in the car right now so I'm working in this area today. Let me just get it set up and we crack on. So it's set up now. I use my vice grips to just clamp the pins where you need them to be. And currently this is what we're dealing with. So that is um Three amps of draw at the moment, or two hundred two hundred and eighty and ideally we want to be at forty milliamps. So forty milliamps would be zero point zero four. Right. So first, I'm actually said that. And I think I got it right in what I'm saying. So what I'm gonna do now is lock the car. I'll lock the van. So we're looking like we've got a radio there. That's aftermarket. And we've got to look around to see if anything else is aftermarket. So he's obviously been playing around with his battery terminals. He's struggling with this. I can't see anything else really. Well, this is um, gonna try to go sleep. Let's have a really look around the car and see the condition. Um, so, such a Nemo. Let me see if I can start breaking up my videos. Under the bonnet, on a Citra Nemo. Here we go. Your oil cap, your brake fluid, reservoir, power steering, reservoir, your diesel fuel filter, that's your ABS control unit there. This here is your DPF pressure sensor, um, obviously that's a fuse box, it's your washer for your fluid, screen wash, wash, windscreen wipers, engine coolant. This is the turbo engine mount, obviously. Auxiliary belt down there. 
condition of the belt. Looks fine to me. Alternator is down there. AC compressor is down there. I see a fuel pump. This fuel pump is in a really crap position because it means that the engine has to spin really fast to start this engine. Yeah, it's, it's been turned off the crank, the camshaft. So if you, if you, you'd probably never be able to push start this car, man. I'm telling you, it's really hard to do that. Up here is your engine ECU, and here we can see that this 280. Um, milliamps it's not dropping sit so down here you've got your engine oil filter yeah. and this one here is probably the turbo pressure solenoid valve and you can see the hose is running back up to the the um, wastegate which is that turbo wastegate down here <clears throat> Alright, so there's definitely a drain. What I'm going to do now is start pulling out fuses. Um, I don't think it's going to be anything in the engine bay, to be fair, because it's very silent in here. So I'm not even going to bother, because that one is kind of hard to get to. So ideally, I'm going to go inside of the car. I want to pull out the fuse for the radio. Go from there. So let me just crack on and do this and when I find out what it is I'll just give you a quick little run around of how I did it. Right so I haven't done much yet but um, I saw some madness down here so the OBD is unplugged and there is its own OBD in there which means that that is a tracker okay Trackers usually cause problems as well. So let me lock the car and test it again. No, oh, I'm not showing you. Just lock the car. It's gonna get down to 280. Obviously, you know when it gets there, it's not going any lower. 280, 286, I just saw a little try. So I'll unplug that. Down to 21. So we tried a 16 just now. Gotta take a phone call. Yeah, so there's obviously something else as well because it's still there at 2.1 couple minutes later, so Carry on This is the fuse box, right? It's been stuck on 3.1 since I got the door open um, but There's no door switch as such and I've got it latched so it should really, I truly believe that it's locked It's falling over there so when I latch the door, I just put something in there and that replicates, you know, yeah, right? So, so far, I'm gonna pull this one. And remember, it's gone back up to 3-1 even though this is unplugged, yeah? 3-1, that's... So... That's about nine milliamps of extra drain. So not really a problem to be fair. Okay. Back right down to three one. I'm gonna pull this one out. I don't know what it is yet. Maybe we'll down to ten. Yeah, ten's pretty good to be fair. Anything else that makes a difference? It's the 
so to say. Everything, everything here. Whilst we're here, quickly point out that's a clutch pedals mechanism up there. It's nothing, I don't know why it looks so tacky to be fair. In the middle here, that's a brake light switch. No, that's a clutch pedal switch. My bad, that was a clutch pedal switch, brake light switch. Accelerator pattern. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It's still at a hundred milliamps. That's still too much. Still too much. Oh. Tackle some fuses in here now, then. So, unlocked, fully locked. So, we've half the drain already. So let me stop the video and check out what that fuse was anyway. So, that fuse that I pulled out inside that was for the radio. So, I expect that the radio right now should be fully disabled. But you never know what's going on behind there. It's like pulling this out. So, before we get crazy and start pulling out the radio, I just want to pull these fuses and make sure that they're all not contributing. Got that down to zero by pulling this, this big boy here. So I'll have to check out and see what that was probably like the body control module. I'll just unlock the car quickly. It's fully done the reset of the car though. It's like a main main that was a real bad boy fuse that was. It's like a car killer that one. So if you want to wire up a kill switch into your car, I'll wire it into that one. Yeah, it killed it proper. Alright, so look again. It's a car killer, that one. But that's obviously not what we want to be doing, right? Yeah, it always helps, yeah, to have a new battery when you're doing a battery drain test. Imagine this battery is flat. This test would be near on impossible. So I'll be back down to there. Pull in this one instead, man. Just all the same. Still the same. It's 
Probably gonna be another 90 to be fair. Wasting time. Yeah, but for the ground. I feel I can hear something buzzing, man. Oh, there's something far away. Not here. Oh, a mass flow sensor. We oh, yeah, everyone loves the air mass flow sensors. You know what? Even my diagnostic skills are mad, but I don't think I've changed many of them, you know. Hmm. And I've been doing this for a long time. Some mechanic horse from air mass flow sensor. It's a misdiagnosis. That's the truth. Damn. That boy's coming down for a minute. Hmm. So, yeah, I just ripped out the, the radio real quick. to see if this is going to be the drain but I don't think it is you know I don't think it is I look down here that is um it's like Fiat's Bluetooth control module and um like the Fiat 500 is called Blue and Me and I've had a few Fiat 500s with Blue and Me I've got to disconnect that so that's probably where we're going to be in a minute so the radio is disconnected now, right? And plug that fuse back in. Let's see where we are on the meters at the moment. So too much. So it's not the radio, it's a Bluetooth control module. So now we've got to find out where the Bluetooth control module is hidden on this car. So what we got there, yeah, I'm going to disconnect the Bluetooth module now, which is underneath the driver's seat. See this blue connector there? Oops. I wanted to hurt my damn hands coming out, man. Shit. Let's see what we got. Shit, man, it's going crazy. Didn't like that one bit. Didn't like that. Less already though, isn't it? Where's the keys? Let me lock the van. This car's playing hardball, man. Being slight, it must really, it must really think that I want to stay here and chill. You know what I'm saying I've got places to be, man. Damn. 
can hurry up and chill out with this battery drain, man. Uh, oh, look. He did chill. Just took his time to chill. I was getting a frustrated. Patience. I'm a Taurus, guys. I am a Taurus. But I'm the boss, you know? Tell me. Alright, so. I think I fixed it right. What do you reckon? Boosty module is disconnected. The tracker is connected. Can we connect the radio? Chill out, chill out, chill out. Why don't you just go away, man? Go down to zero, man. Alright, so I'm gonna cheat now, right? Let's say that. There we go, right? No more batch drain. So, guys, I beg you just like and subscribe, man. Please, 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 please like and subscribe. See you at the next video. Cars all back together. Let's get my stuff. Even it like that. So any nosy people come and plug that back in, they'll right end up with a flat battery again. The reason why I'm not recommending a repair of this Bluetooth control module in this case is because the guys already got an aftermarket radio installed. So it wasn't being used anyway. So put this window back up. Uh, all right, glow plugs. Still the old school. Did the glow plug light was on the bottom down there. Remember, I pulled that big fuse. <laughs> 